and if you have not subscribed to my channel hit the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get instant notification for all of my future videos hello guys welcome back as you guys all know mia1 july update has been rolled out to beta users and this rom is based on android 8.1 with the security patch of july 1 i have been using july beta build for a week approximately and in this video we will check battery and performance of july build and i have also test some other features and things like usb otg if you want to know all the things working or not so watch the video till the end and before we start my name is ami and you are watching android power So first go to device setting and check the android version and security patch level and as you can see it says based on android 8.1 with the security patch of july 1 and the build number is 8.7.5.1 and regarding the mobile data mobile data is working fine you can download apps from play store and if we talk about wi-fi you can connect to wi-fi without any issues and also you can connect to any bluetooth you want android 8.1 Bluetooth feature is also working you can see the battery level of Bluetooth devices and location is also working and it is accurate in the July build so no issues regarding locations now talking about the voice calls Geo is working fine VOLT services are there you can make or hear calls without any issues if we talk about the general performance of the ROM the general performance of this device is also fine app opening speed is also fast no issues regarding app opening speed I have not faced any lag while opening or closing apps and also most of the apps are in recent background no apps are reloading so general performance is fine no issues regarding general performance of this build now talking about the battery life on july build the battery life on july build is completely insane i am quite surprised with the battery life with july build and i am not actually a normal user i am a heavy user and i have played youtube for 2 hours and 36 minutes facebook for 33 minutes candy crush for 46 minutes and i have also played pubg game for 13 minutes and i have taken some calls for 54 minutes and used whatsapp approx 32 minutes and used mx player for 19 minutes which is quite heavy usage and i am easily getting 8 hours and 8 and half hours of screen on time with july patch so battery life is insane in my testing and some users are keep saying me to check sound output via headphone jack and i have also tested the sound via headphone jack and low volume call has fixed in this update and the sound output coming from the headphone jack is nothing sort of amazing I have also tested the USB OTG with my MI A1 in the July beta build. Someone saying to me that after updating their MI A1 to June 8.1, USB OTG not working. So I have tested the USB OTG with this build and USB OTG is working fine. No issues regarding USB OTG. You can access USB files and you can move your device file to USB OTG. Now talking about the heavy gaming in July update and I have played quite a few games like PUBG, Sonic or Candy Crush and the heavy games like PUBG no issues running in this device and Sonic is also running fine. So gaming is not an issue in this build. You can play all the heavy games without lag or without issues. Now it's time to do 8.1 features test and some users are saying that picture in picture mode is not working in their 8.1 build and I have also tested the chrome and maps and youtube and picture in picture mode in working all of them no issues regarding picture in picture mode. Now talking about some benchmark score on july update. The Geekbench score for single CPU core is 882 and the multi-core score is 4340. Now talking about the Antutu benchmark score for this build. The Antutu benchmark score for this build is 79498 which is lesser than the previous build but I have not faced any lag with this build and also the battery life on this device is also fine. 